Okay, Cancer. How are we doing? Hopefully you are well. This is your intuitive message that goes in alignment with your astrological prediction for the week ahead. So make sure that you are checking your astrological transits. Three of Wands keeps showing up here, the Tower card. Oh, um, that feels really good though, I'm not gonna lie. Um, tower card and the Hierophant here. Hierophant is reversed. Um, yeah, Star card here. Ooh, love that. Big time focus on hope, healing, balance, restoring order. Justice card is here. Things kind of evening themselves out or the, the need to spirit. I just feel like that's what spirits is working on is just this cause and effect, this law and order. Ace of swords, eight of cups. These is a direct result of the things that is that you've had to walk away from, the things that you've heard, the things that you've laid to rest. Ace of swords and the ten of swords. Cancer. Big time. Big time. Um, this is for your own safety your own stability it's your and some of you guys do you even know so that's what i just heard so safety what is safety you know it's this feeling it's this feeling that where i rest is is something that isn't going to harm me or hurt me in any way shape or form i feel solid here i feel protected here i feel shielded here from things that don't have my best interests at heart. And two of wands, you've really been working on trying to create a world even more or m not manifest, but harbor a world that is safe, that you belong in. Um, let's see what spirit has here for you. Knight of Pentacles. I'm telling you, I keep shuffling these cards, but everything is comes out the way that it wants. Cancer. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. What's going on for Cancer? Three of Pentacles here. Um, yeah. There's definitely something, Cancer, that you have put an end to that I see has been stopping your movement, your own uh, uh, progress. This is personal progress, you guys. This is something that you've done for you. Um, you might have also been, with the Chariot card, there's definitely the chance that you might have just ending a trip or or maybe you were supposed to end a trip and then you kind of let, let it linger. But it's honestly, it's very much about you doing it for you. However, I'm. it doesn't matter how it has manifested in your external environment. I'm focusing on the internal. I'm focusing on the spiritual. And I feel like you are really stepping into your own your own personal power your own truth your own identity your own power like you're truly you're becoming way more powerful within yourself you're being ignited you're being sparked you're being divinely led divinely guided and I am feeling like you are seeing new aspects within yourself and being released from certain aspects of yourself that have really hurt you and hindered you and have made you feel unsafe. And this could be, a, you know, a place that you lived in. It could be people that you were engaging in. It could be tumultuous family relationships or whatever the case is. It's you being removed out of energy that did not serve you that had you on guard um i also heard the word deflected like deflecting like it's people who won't so much um accept and acknowledge how the energy that they are that they've contributed and how they might have made things messed up and i'm seeing cancer energy like you are really working Oh, you've moved yourself away from that. You've moved yourself out of it. And even if you're still in it, you have this barrier around you, this blockade around you that stops you from getting too immersed in it. So instead of, it's like the energy flipped up here. Like instead of you being bothered by the bullshit, you now can see the bullshit, recognize it for bullshit, and then choose something else. And that's literally what I'm seeing here for you. With the lover's card here, my loves, and the page of swords reversed, right under and right next to the magician card, 
and the Ace of Swords, this is all about total, um, this is just, just really personally empowering. It's a person who sees that they do not want to be a part of, anymore of like energy that is bossy or manipulative or says this is what we're doing this is where we're going this is what they said you really have started to kind of step into your own power and be like okay i'm gonna question you on this like i'm go i'm not gonna just believe or go with everything that you're saying i gotta i gotta call you out so and you start to com not combat it but meet that meet this person meet this energy with your own the you know questions that kind of it disempower the people that, that want to feel empowered and they feel more empowered by you following them but cancer you are starting to see the truth of the matter or you saw the truth of the matter and now you're like i don't engage in this anymore and you don't even have to force your will it's more a quiet sense of strength and power if you're not there yet you're going to be and if you didn't know that that's where you were headed ask spirit to lead you there because there's something about this loyalty card here um a lot of loyalty is being called into question probably because bonds toxic bonds or aspects of relationships or aspects of our life that are toxic the things that is that we desire we have the snake here the things that is that we're seeking the things that we think that we want or the things that are going after us or the things that we don't see that might be poisonous or toxic to us we are really spirit is breaking us free from that thank god thank god um with this letter my loves um this has everything to do look whew, um, this has every the snake came out for you again. This has everything to do with what you are saying what you are um, Your intention what your intentions are what you are writing what you are manifesting. That's what I see here um, Sorry about that cancer my my battery or my storage was full. I just had to clear it out really quickly, but yeah, I mean From that you guys I'm just seeing What you see and what you set intention for now is very much from a deeper emotional space of like your own well-being and from that you start to gain more power more self-control more poise more purpose-led direction and you just end up being completely on top of your game honestly cancer and i think it's because you just needed to see it you really just needed to see it and don't forget, you know, Cancer, you're one of the cardinal signs, so you're meant to be a leader and you're meant to lead from your emotions, but if you if you allow yourself, not that you're not, that compromise, you know, isn't something that spirit doesn't want for you, but they do, but they want to make sure that, Cancer, that you are taking the time to soothe yourself and to tap into your own feelings because the way that the planets move and the way that spirit moves, it, it it speaks life into the cardinal signs to direct the rest of the zodiac. And if you're kind of passing that message off or passing that information off to someone else or something else, it takes away from your own magnificence and like your own magnificent energy, your own magnificent purpose, but also your own personal strength. And with that, Cancer, I do feel like parts of you kind of needed to have to saw off or disconnect yourself from certain things and certain people. But those aspects ooh, are recommitting themselves and are going back in new things that are going to be more life-giving to you. And it's given me big time regeneration vibes, you guys, especially with the devil card here being re released. It's you totally being chopped away from and pulled out of situations that were really not the best for you. They didn't feel the best for you. And now you are recommitting yourself and advancing in things that make you more happy and more solidified and more stable. Um, stable. You may not see it right away right now because of the sun card here reversed or you may not believe that it's going to last forever cancer but give yourself a fighting chance and and give yourself you know the hope and the faith you know to believe that you know there is something absolutely amazing here for you um, that has to directly do with your own you know your personal desires because I just keep feeling like you're you're 
kind of doing what's in everyone else's best interest and or you've been following someone else you've been following what they want what they do and now all of a sudden you're like skirt stop got to cut that out and now let I'm going to now I'm going to now step into my power I'm now going to call the shots and that's what spirit wants because he's free right now and that's where you're being led okay so hopefully this message um resonated hopefully it makes sense and hopefully it also helped you and healed you in some way please hit the thumbs up button because that helps me and it also encourages me to continue to do these readings for you guys in the meantime i want to invite you to subscribe to this youtube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from and i'll see you in my next one bye